Hey peeps, what's up? I am back with another story time video. I'm chilling in what used to be my old room and is now my mom's office. But yeah, this has this view, so it was nice to be here, but now I've got that view, so that's nice. So this story time is about the time I hit a bird, but there's a lot of context to it. I don't know what the title is gonna be. I was told of a story. Someone that I knew briefly hit a person and the person killed, died, as in not hit them like this. They, they were driving and this person ran in front of them. Here in South Africa, unfortunately, that happens all the time. It's not an uncommon thing. It's not even a law, I don't think. If it's a law, then everyone breaks it, but everyone breaks the law anyways. This dude ran across a highway at nighttime. Obviously didn't see him. We have load shedding, we have all of this stuff, so you're trying to avoid potholes. You're trying to use your brights while other people's lights are hitting you. You don't have lights along to help you see. You don't know if you're by a town or anything because there's no lights. It's a real freaking mess. And eventually what happened is, of course, he hit this person and the person ended up dying. I didn't talk to him about it. I talked to someone else about it who knew about the story. We were talking about it and how we would feel about it because I said, you know, I would get pissed off because my, my worst side, basically, my, my darker side would come out and say, well, the dude deserved to die because he's doing something so foolish and stupid. He has no instincts. He has no um, self-preservation skills. So why should I care? And that's not normally how I feel. That Like, that's not a... That is how I feel a lot. But that's the part that I would want to feel. But the bigger side of me would know that I would feel terrible. I would be thinking what she brought up now, which is she brought up how, you know, that's someone's dad, that's someone's brother, someone's son. I was flabbergasted because I know she feels similar to me in the, the, the darker side because everyone does. You're going to get blamed for someone else's stupid mistake and you're the one that has to live with that for someone else being stupid like that. How are you supposed to be anything but outraged? But the rage actually hides the true feelings and the true feelings are what are coming out now. I had this conversation with her. She brought these things up and I said, yeah, but still. And then I was thinking it was on my mind peripherally for that day. The very next day, the very next day after this conversation, the universe came to me and said, hey, we're going to make you experience that. Not on that level. I didn't kill anybody. Don't worry about it. But I did kill a bird. And that I feel absolutely terrible about, which is bringing it into this. I hit the bird. All the other birds flew away. I, again, bad roads, bad potholes, bad bumps. I did not have time to slow down for this freaking bird. So I got, sorry, freaking bird. All the other birds flew away. This thing flew up and then landed and then flew up. And, then, and I was like, fine. If this thing is going to, there's no ways that I can. I do not have the, I'm not going to smash my car into a tree for a freaking bird. So I was like, okay, this is going to happen. Literally in a split second, this thought went through my mind. It's going to happen. And it happened. And I hit the bird. I saw it fly up. Um, and then in my mirror, I saw it fly up and then hit the ground behind me. Just as it was happening, I was thinking like, what a stupid freaking bird. You know, I got into the rage mode. I was like, no, what a stupid freaking bird. This thing, if this is going to be the way it is. I didn't actually, I didn't have the thought this thing deserves to die. I don't feel like things have that, you know, um, thing of like, you deserve death. But nonetheless, so this bird made me angry. So I continued driving. Half a block away, I decided, no, now I feel bad. Now I need to go and check on the bird. You know, maybe it's actually just hurts and not dead, maybe I can do something to help it. So then I to go onto the main road, turn around the main road at the traffic light, come do a U-turn, come right back down, sit there for a little bit because it's a busy road, traffic, come check on the bird, the bird's dead. So now I have to just stop where I am in the middle of the road and turn around and go again. And as I was going through this, all the emotions were coming through. I wasn't even thinking about the previous conversation from the previous day. My thoughts were on the bird were things like, you know, what if it has children? That thought where I said, oh, this poor bird, because it, it was a female pigeon. My thoughts were, what is it? What if it has children? Now the children are going to die. And immediately after that thought, my um, mind went back to the previous day where I had that conversation. And she said, what if that's someone's dad? And I was like, wow, that's so interesting. So the universe literally helped me experience that without having to experience it to such a degree so that I can understand what it would be like. I don't know what the purpose was, maybe to help me identify or heal or whatever. I guess it's helping me identify that rage is just a surface level emotion to things that are underneath. Why do I feel bad? for this thing's stupid mistakes. Maybe this thing just isn't smart, it just doesn't have these skills. And then we have to be like, well, we have to accommodate that, but you can't always accommodate that. Clearly it doesn't work, right? So there's a lot of up and downs to it. There's a lot of like, what's right to feel, what isn't right to feel. And at the end of the day, you have the right to feel everything. 
that you feel because you're going to feel everything that you feel but what you act on is of more importance so that's the time that i hit a bird and drove back to check on it and i had a conversation about someone hitting someone the day before that's not going to be the title because that will be a thousand words but it's that story so i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for liking subscribing leave a comment if you've got anything similar like this similar like this i've got a friend who also did a a, a thing with a bird and he also felt terrible birds i guess actually serve a lot of purposes for healing they have for me i've got a lot of interesting stories with birds this one isn't really an interesting story this is a sad story and it's not really to do with the bird it's more about the context behind what the bird served you know the purpose of the bird I've had times where I had this big big bird it looked like a bird of prey I don't even know what bird it was but it was a big bird that I found next to a, a game park well it's more like a nature park it's not really a game park and it was just chilling on the side of the road so I stopped I got out the car I thought it was injured so I stopped I got out the car I went oh I remember that. I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna save this for another video because there was actually something super esoteric and awesome about this experience in the end. I just forgot about it. Thank you for liking, subscribing, leaving a comment, like I said, and I'll see you in the next video. Yo, so I actually want to add on to this video here. I actually want to talk about what I did learn from this. I learned empathy on a new degree. I basically identified that the world is filled with people of and beings of all sorts, shapes and sizes. Some people are just stupid. In the beginning of this video, I was talking about how I'd get outraged because this person is just doing a stupid thing and I'm the one that has to face the consequences. His stupid action has planted an issue in everyone else's life that he was in. So of course I go to the Darwin side of things and I think, well, survival of the fittest. But what I realized is that thought process lacks empathy and I am very much an empathic person. And that's why with this bird, this, the way I told this story didn't make an emotional impact on that part of the story. When I hit that bird and I saw it plop on the ground, I might have been angry, but I was way more frustrated at myself. When I came back and I saw the bird lying dead there with its eyes closed, I was heartbroken. I was, I had tears forming. It made me realize that we have to take into account that there are beings, like I said just now, of all shapes and sizes. Not everyone has survival instinct. Not everyone has, there are just stupid people in the world. Full stop. They are here to learn lessons and teach lessons and give lessons to others as well. It's our job as human beings to try and accommodate everybody. What matters is that they're here to live a life and learn lessons and taking that life away is a, it's a serious event. So even though my shadow self is going to say things like stupid person deserves to die, I'm not going to break my car to save a freaking bird. And then it happens and I end up feeling the opposite. I end up feeling like, man, I wish, I wish I could have just not hurt that bird. I might have that shadow self of me that says, hey, stupid people, stupid death, cool, man. But I also have the side of me, the much bigger, stronger side of me, which would break down at the event. If that were to unfold in my life, I would absolutely fall apart for a little bit. This is the lesson I learned. We have to accommodate each other no matter the situation and no matter who we are. I've met and trained stupid people and I can say 100% that if they were to do a test on paper, they would be classified as stupid. Yet, they can do things that nobody else can. They have the biggest hearts. They have the, you know, the strongest out of the box ideas. Everyone serves a different purpose. We can't all have survival instincts. Some of us are here to learn about survival instincts. That's basically the lesson that I learned is empathy on a deeper level. Empathy is an important thing and also accommodating others, no matter who they are. Accommodating others is a very important um, life lesson. It's a very important thing to be doing through life. Yeah.